This is a fully 3D printed Japanese abacus soroban with 160 moving parts, printed in place. I also made a two-digit version as a keychain for training purposes. Why did I make this? Honestly, I don't know. I guess I just wanted the challenge. I ordered an abacus on AliExpress and wanted to see if I could print one faster than the shipping. By definition, it had to be printed in place with no assembly required, only disassembly of supports. So let's see how to print it and remove the supports. Print the file from the link in the description as it is. Don't enable support when printing as the model already includes the supports. The supports are designed to break off during disassembly. Every rod has a support between the beads. The support for the rods has weak points in the connections. There are many bridges, but even my Ender 3 managed to print them. If my Ender 3 can do it, any printer can. This print is challenging due to the many parts. Ensure Z-hopping is enabled at 0.2 mm and use very dry filament avoiding stringing. I've tried printing this many times. As you can see from these failed test prints, often a bead will get knocked off or the printer will crash into a pillar, ruining in it. Adding Z-hopping helps prevent this. My printer isn't perfect, my printer isn't great, but I made it work. If you're up for the challenge, it's a great print. Take a knife and from the bottom side, cut all the connecting pieces of the supports. You would find these on both sides of the single digit section and the five digit section. Then rotate each row of beads to automatically disconnect the pillars from the rods. If a pillar won't disconnect automatically, just knock it off with a screwdriver or a cutter. Finally, use a cutter to remove the support from the individual beads. Let me know what you think about the design and if you have a better way to support this screen for better results. Thanks for watching.